Phoenix family to One Footed Phoenix. Today we're going to be talking about handicap parking spaces. So first, what are the hash marks in handicap parking spaces? Hash marks in handicap parking spaces are the lines that are in between parking spaces that allow for extra room for a wheelchair or a prosthetic leg or any kind of mobility device. These lines in between handicapped parking spaces are really important to keep clear and free of carts, debris, anything that would get in the way of a person with a wheelchair especially getting in and out of their vehicle. One thing that I've seen a lot is people pushing carts into these hash marks and leaving them in the area of the hash marks. And when people leave their carts in the area of the hash marks, I know why they do it. They do it because they're probably older people that hold on to the cart for st stability and mobility as like a mobility aid, but they don't realize that when they leave those carts in the way, it creates a really big problem for people like me that have wheelchairs. So it's not just convenient to keep these hash marks clear of carts, it's actually a really big piece of a disabled person, especially a person with a wheelchair, being able to be independent and go about their daily life independently. And when there's carts in the way, they can't independently go about their life. So it's a really big deal to not leave your carts in the way of handicapped parking spaces and unfortunately this is something that I see in the disabled community a lot. If you don't have a handicapped par placard that says that you can park in a handicapped space, don't do it. And I mean that. Don't do it. Because it's, not only is it rude, but it takes away a handicapped parking space from someone that needs it. And even if you think, oh, I'm just gonna park here for a minute because no one's gonna care. Uh, actually, people care. And if you don't have a handicapped placard, you shouldn't be there, period. I don't care why you're parking there or for how long you're parking there, it doesn't matter. You shouldn't be parking there if you don't have a handicapped placard. And that's one thing that bugs me like crazy is when people park in handicapped spaces when they don't have a placard and they're fully able-bodied but they park there just to be like, oh, I'm just going to talk to my friend for five minutes and then they take up the handicapped parking space that someone like me actually needs. So a good example of this when someone without a handicapped placard was parking in a handicapped space is on my trip over the summer this last year, there was someone that parked in a handicapped space to talk to their friend and it was out in front of a hotel and they parked in the handicapped space and they were sitting there talking to their friend and they were, they kind of had this attitude of like, oh, no one needs this right now, so I'm just gonna be here. And like, I really wanted to give them a piece of my mind because you shouldn't be parking there without a handicap placard. But they did it anyway, thinking that they were more entitled to the space than someone with an actual disability. Another example of someone parking in a handicap space without a handicap placard is one day when I went to the bank, I went to, I had to go into the bank to go like sign some documents or something, and there is only one handicap space for the bank, right? Okay, fine and good. There probably should be more than one handicap space, but whatever, irrelevant to the story. So I go driving along and I go to the bank and I'm by myself and all I have is my like prosthetic leg. And so I need the handicap space and the bank guy that's like unloading these bank notes from the armored truck is parked in the handicap space and he's like unloading everything from the handicap space. And I get there, and what do I do? I honk at him till he moves because he was in the handicap space without a handicap placard. And quite frankly, I probably should have called the cops on him because he should have gotten a ticket for being in the handicap space without a handicap placard. And it's a great example of people thinking like, oh, I'll just be here for a minute 
and then someone actually needing the space and they can't get into the space. So yeah, you should only be using handicapped parking spaces when the disabled person will be exiting the vehicle. Now, a good example of this is when you like go to the store and the non-disabled person is gonna run out of the vehicle to go grab something and then come back. That's an instance where you should not be parking in a handicapped space because the disabled person will not be exiting the vehicle. And the handicap placard is for the disabled person. It has your name on it. So it is for you, the disabled person, and not for someone else. If you can walk the distance without parking in a handicapped space, you shouldn't be parking in the handicapped spaces. Period. You just, you shouldn't be doing that. Like, what are you doing? If you can walk able-bodied enough to not need a handicapped space, but you have a handicapped placard, you still shouldn't be parking in the handicapped space. And lastly, I wanna talk about why I need a handicapped space when I'm in my prosthetic leg. So when I'm in my prosthetic leg, the doors cannot fully open enough that I need them to open in my prosthetic leg. And I'll show you what I mean. So when you have a prosthetic leg, your ankle doesn't bend and see how my ankle is like at a 90 degree angle? That ankle is at a 90 degree angle all the time and so it makes it really difficult to get in and out of the car without having extra space. Another reason that I genuinely need a handicap parking space when I'm wearing my prosthetic leg is the fact that I can't walk very far. And I'm still at a point where I can walk like far enough to get from like the handicapped parking space into the store and like around the store and back but I can't walk from like the end of the parking lot all the way to the door because the more that I'm on my leg the more pain that I feel and so I really genuinely need the handicapped parking space even with my prosthetic leg on. If you enjoyed this video or learned something new please make sure that you subscribe to this channel to learn even more about amputee life and life with a disability. Thank you so much for watching this video all the way through. It means a ton to me as the creator that you're taking time out of your busy schedule to come and hang out with me. If you would like to see another One Footed Phoenix video, click over here and I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you, bye!